Mas chaba kumalo, ex-boyfriend, just murt mas chaba's current bay at 11.50 p.m. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, please subscribe. Thank you. Mas chaba kumalo is a South African actress, um, a radio presenter, a television producer, and also a sangoma and a mother of two boys. She was born in Zambia. She is 37 years old. She was born 1983. She divorced twice. The name Maschaba is from her first husband and the same name Nglov. So the husband's name is Mfundo Nzibande. He is a well-known business person. After that, she managed to find love again. There was Maschaba Likalake in 2015. That's when I first got to know her on ETV with a show with Mo, Tolles Mo. And then after the second marriage failed in 2018, Maschaba now has two kids one from the first marriage and one from the second marriage you know she is a very well spoken person she's confident um and she can rock any hairstyle you know and she has that fashion statement if you've seen her you know dress up so since 2019 to 2021 i can now confidently say that she is practicing busangoma i've seen her with the likes of bukoko dineo and recently she was posting content related to bungoma you know and then now the real tea honey please grab a chair because i'm going to spill Anyway, so Maschaba's home was turned into like a boxing ring after her ex-boyfriend allegedly murdered her current BF on Friday night. This ugly incident in which Maschaba told the police that her tooth fell out. Honey, this ugly incident happened on Friday night. And Maschaba told the police that her tooth fell out while she was trying to play a referee and it took place in Rembeck. So this is like a police statement. According to the version of the events, Maschaba responded to a knock on the door from her ex-boyfriend while she was with her family. So in this regards, I believe it is herself and the kids. The statement revealed that she told him to leave as she was praying at 11.50 p.m. Her ex-boyfriend appeared to have left for a brief moment only to have come back. He walked around the house and looked for the sliding door. Um, she told the police that her ex knocked again in a harsh manner before allegedly beating up her current boyfriend, identified as Mr. Mbat. He then, he then came straight to the door again and knocked harshly. She opened and her ex-boyfriend allegedly started beating up her current partner. She tried to stop him and he pushed her away. This resulted her in her front tooth falling off. She picked it up and put it back on. Wow. Her current bay was bleeding and sustained some injuries on the face. She has a restraining order against the ex-boyfriend who is a suspect. And the police spokesman, K. Makubele, confirmed that a case of assault has been opened and the matter is still under investigation. So to summarize all this, 
Maschaba's ex-boyfriend came knocking on the door at 11.50 only to find Maschaba with the current boyfriend and he murdered the current boyfriend and also during that fight Maschaba lost her tooth. So my thoughts about this situation. I need to digest this information. I am disappointed, I must say. I thought Maschaba would have learned the first time and the second time with her previous marriages. Now, this story is about her ex-boyfriend banging on the door and hitting the current boyfriend. I feel sorry, especially for the firstborn because he is constantly introduced to a male figure. This is like four men in his spaces. It is his father the ca- uh, and the second husband, Thomas Chaba, the ex-boyfriend and now the current boyfriend. As the statement reads, um, that current ex found Mas Chaba together with her family, meaning the current boyfriend and the kids. So now, all of these scenes and everything that is happening in Maschaba's life, the son is exposed to all of this toxicity. You know, it's not healthy for Maschaba, let alone the kids. At first, you know, I thought the problem was with all the men that Maschaba is dating or you know, had married before because with the second husband, I remember there was a story saying that the reason that Mas Chaba got into babes where do most business, it is because of she is also dealing with a similar demon, meaning that there was trouble in her marriage. Hence, she wanted to stand up so much for babes we do and i have a story which i'm going to drop tomorrow please 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 be on the lookout for that where babes where babes explained what happened between her and mom Benja and how the information got linked to mas chaba and how's the relationship between her and mas chava so that is not the topic for today i just wanted to talk about mas chava so um i'm sorry where was i i think that mas chava is very provocative you know she brings a certain spirit upon this man um who end up acting all crazy. Her hus- her ex-husband once beat her up. The current ex-boyfriend rocking up at 11.50 and acting all crazy. Look now, she got punched and lost her tooth. Like, what are the odds? Now we can no longer say that it is this man. Fine, I get a gender-based violence and all of that. But sometimes we need to to face the truth. And we as women, we also need to acknowledge our wrong part in this whole doing. I feel that Maschaba is a dishonest human being. If she had been upfront with this current ex-boyfriend and had broken up with him and broke all ties and moved on in all honesty i don't think this guy would come at that particular time and hit another person it means that the relationship did not end well she must have done something in her part i'm not saying that this guy is wrong for coming at a person's place at that particular time yes that brings bells of being psycho but women, we need to take accountability of our actions as well. If Maschaba was honest, this guy wouldn't have come up, you know? And another thing, why would, you know what? Maschaba just comes from two failed marriages. 
The last marriage was in 2018. She is a practicing Sagoma. She knows such things that you cannot be hopping from one relationship to the next. You know? Because of soul ties. And this is the fourth person. Actually, two people that she has been with. 2019, 2020. Now we are in 2021. So this is, we can't call 2021 because we're still in March. So it's two months. We are in two months in 2021. So it's been only like two years. And since her failed marriage, has she moved on so quickly to have two boyfriends from her failed marriage? Talk about moving on. She is fast, Maschaba. Maschaba is very fast. I thought that, you know what? she she is focusing on her calling but you know what what happens in the dark will come to the light so must have a busy shame must have a busy i don't know if there is a tombstone or an autobiography written that the cause of death is because of salt you can be smart intellectually, but be blind in love. Why is she such a sucker for love? She is such a sucker for love. If I were her, I'd concentrate on myself before I I embark on a journey. I mean, like, she just got divorced. I don't know if you guys get my point. She just got divorced. 2018. That can be healthy. And her first marriage also lasted in 2015 i think it also did not take even up to five five years i don't know where it began but her first marriage was ended 2015 her second marriage ended 2018 and then in 2020 she has two scandals of two boyfriends that can be healthy at all not alone for the kids not alone for my you know i'm quite disappointed in her I am very disappointed. And I'm glad that now we're no longer blaming or babes we do more. So those are my thoughts about Mas Chavez ex and current bay. I just feel sorry for the current bay though. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comment section. Please don't forget to drop a comment with the word love. Till I see you again in my next video. And please be on the lookout for a video of Babe Sweat Juma. Spilling all the tea. How she met Mampinche and all of that. Till I see you again. Bye.